Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're looking at Bribery is the pliers multi-tool. This is 21 in one. We are in the family are big fans of Gerber. They do an absolutely amazing kit, but unfortunately like a Leatherman guys, they are quite pricey. So I want you to have a look and find an alternative that doesn't cost the earth. And after looking from Amazon, you can actually pick up multi-tools for around 10 uh, Quality will be of course questionable. However, I come across this brand and yes guys, it was currently on the deal at 25 pounds from 40, but at 25 pounds for the 21 piece multi-tool, I thought was a really good idea and I wanted to give it a go. So there we are guys, it has arrived and okay, it comes in the little box and you get yourself your multi-tool and you get yourself a pouch. So without further ado guys, let's have a closer look. So guys, here we are, a close-up for you. Um, so far on the initial instances, guys, it does feel like it's a fairly good quality um, multi-tool. It does weigh uh, 270 grams, which is, might sound like a lot, but to be fair, it's quite a par with some other brands. We do have a Gerber one, which is very similar, and it weighs 256 grams. So this one is only just a little bit more. Um, on the first side here, guys, you can see we've got a leather clip. Um, the multi-tool does come with a little pouch, but I think it's rather handy to have that you can either clip it to your belt or your pocket, whatever kind of suits you. Um, if we open this up, okay, so first thing here, guys, we have ourselves some pliers and you have your usual, you have your needle nose pliers, you've got the regular pliers and then you have uh, wire cutters. The beauty of this one, I see that they are replaceable heads, which is really, really good. Um, they feel fairly smooth. Uh, the only thing we've noticed really that it, it's not, they're not sprung loaded, which is somewhat a little bit irritating. Yes, there are brands, cheaper brands and more expensive brands that do have um, sprung loaded pliers. Those ones don't, so this is a little bit of downside for them, but Nonetheless, guys, they still feel like a very good quality pliers. So whilst we're on this side, I can show you they do have two rulers. Okay, hopefully you just get to see that here. You've got one in inches, one in centimeters, which is rather handy. On the other side, we have a selection of tools. So if I get them pulled out. So, right. This is what we have, okay, you have yourself the uh, thread needle, you've got yourself a chunky monkey screwdriver, you have your tiny little screwdriver, really thin, but you can use this probably for something else as well. And here you have a can opener and you do have a wire stripper just there. Um, initially guys, they do feel really smooth and kind of really easy to operate. Obviously with this one to close this in, um, we have to press the button so it gets it locked in in place. Um, to be fair, I would like to have a bottle opener. Yes, that tin opener is there, but you're not really able to actually open the bottle with it. So this is another little downside of this multi-tool. So now guys, let's get this closed up. And you can have a look. So here, let's start with this side. Okay, they are a little bit stiff, but you've got yourself a file. Okay, it is a double-sided file, so you've got a really rough edge on there and you do have a really fine one. I find this is really, really good because this one is super fine. Initially, um, for many ladies, I have the Victoria X knives and their files are really, really tough. And if you kind of have a broken nail, to have an ability to have a, a slightly finer file, it's a really good idea. I appreciate this is not what those are for, but um, I like the idea that you do have a very rough one and a very, um, very fine finish as well. So, Right, again, here guys, we have, let me have that. We have some scissors as well. Initially, when you open them up, you're like, oh my God, what is going on? The scissors are not um, sprung loaded, but you got to clip them into place and they are now sprung loaded, which is really good. It is handy to have some scissors, um, again, for many uses for that, but I like that and I think it's a good idea. Okay, so next thing on this side here we have, you got to be very careful. It is a little bit sharp on the edge here, but you have yourself a very nice saw. It is uber sharp, literally. Hopefully you get to see that. 
it is a pretty good quality. It does feel really, really nice. So yeah. Okay, and on this side, whilst we're here, guys, we have ourselves a knife. Okay, again, it does feel very sharp. Is it good that you have yourself a non-serrated and a serrated option? I do think it's a very good idea. Okay, so again, buttons to lock. It feels, again, um, if you would have nails, it's a little bit awkward. It kind of buttons feel like they should be just a little bit... Um, more pronounced or you know maybe slightly different place but um because i'm struggling i have very short nails but i'm struggling to get this into place um of pressing the buttons but nonetheless guys um it is what it is so on this side here okay and again which is a really good thing right you have yourself a flint lighter and again it's a little bit difficult to get it out but it is something i haven't seen in many of the um multi tools, which is really good. The idea is you take this out, you take your cover off, okay, and you have your flint inside. Another thing as well, guys, it does have, this is a whistle, believe this or not. Um, it's not particularly very loud, but it is there and it is available if you choose to use it. So the idea is you kind of slot it back into place and you fold it over. What we found is it slides here very, very easily, okay, so whether Within time, that's and that been wearing off and sliding out, I don't know. But as it stands at the moment, it's easy to slide in, but very difficult to get out from here. But at the same time, you don't want to be, uh, for it to come out and you don't want to be losing that. Another thing, guys, right on here, what really attracted us to it is we wanted to have something, the multi-tool that has a hammer, okay? And this one does have a hammer bit here. It's not the sort of hammer you do that with, but the idea is you can sort of, bosh something down if you have to. Um, at the same time, on the end here, guys, you have yourself a window breaker, okay? It is fairly sharp. You can do um, probably other things with that as well if you needed to. And really peculiar thing here, but in the end here, guys, they do have your drill bit holders, okay? So you can see there, star shape. So the idea is that you can put um, things like that inside it. So you put the bits in, okay? And it's really odd. Right, so it kind of fits in. It's a bit rattly, but unfortunately it does come out. It takes it, so there's nothing there to grip it to basically hold it in place. Um, it's kind of a really weird idea. I think if you carry a multi-tool, okay, and you don't have ability to put any of those things somewhere in your pocket or whatever, which you really wouldn't anyway, um, it's kind of a bit a strange thing to have to me maybe some other uses for that then I don't know but it is what this is designed for um, I suppose because it's not really taken away from the look or it's not taking the valuable space it's just there if you choose to use it anyway uh, but again um, that's something I don't feel is kind of um, has a good purpose to it but nonetheless guys it is there so there we are guys this is what um this is what we have So yes, guys, that's that. So I think, to be fair, so this is what it looks like on a distance if you wanted to have a look. But yes, I think for £25, guys, I think it is no-brainer. As I said, it feels kind of rather comfortable in your hand. I know it's got a little bit of drawbacks, but the idea of having a little hammer thing, so you can basically just whack something if you need to, having that little um, glass breaker as well, which is, again, it's in a good position because it's right on the end and it's protruding out. It is kind of, um, I don't know, it just seems to like it works in the hand. Um, again, we're comparing, guys, quality, well, you can't really compare the quality of the Gerbers and Leatherman against things like this. However, after handling all of those, I can tell you for a fact that that kind of feels really, really good. The weight is there and the quality is there at the moment. It might not last you a lifetime. It doesn't come with, you know, lifetime warranty, anything like that. But for the £25, I think it's worth having. Again, if you're just preparing, guys, or if you want to have a multi-tool, but you can't afford to have either Gerber's or Leatherman, this is, I think, a pretty good option. So anyway, guys, I hope you find this review helpful. Don't forget thumbs up and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.